Protecting what is most important is the highest mission of every country. Current threats can suddenly emerge from above and below. With the craftsmanship of Sikorsky, the new presidential helicopter of the United States, the VH-92A, has arrived. What does it offer to ensure the security of the nation's leader? Let's explore further. In Owego, New York, a new chapter in history was written on August 19, 2024. Sikorsky, part of the Lockheed Martin family, celebrated an extraordinary achievement, the delivery of the VH-92A presidential helicopter. This helicopter is part of a program for 23 aircraft designated for the U.S. Marine Corps. This is not just an ordinary ceremony, it marks a significant milestone for the Marine Corps and serves as a new symbol for transporting national leaders, including the President. Lieutenant General Bradford Gehring, Deputy Commandant for Aviation, stands with confidence. He believes this helicopter will never disappoint in fulfilling its duties. Reflecting on history, he knows that every U.S. President since 1957 has flown an aircraft produced by this company. Sikorsky has proven its reliability. The VH-92A, known by its nickname White Top, has been meticulously designed and built on time and within budget. Utilizing the FAA certified Sikorsky S-92A airframe, this helicopter has been modified to meet the specific needs of the government. Behind all this success lies an important question. What assurances can Sikorsky provide about the modification process they have undertaken? Sikorsky is ready to face new challenges in the world of high-ranking official transportation with bright expectations. They hope the VH-92A will be a reliable and safe helicopter thanks to the integration of mission systems from the S-92A specified by the government, as well as its comfortable executive interior. The VH-92A has logged over 520 flight test hours, demonstrating its technical maturity and mission system readiness. Throughout this process, advanced mission and communication systems have been integrated, ensuring that the aircraft can perform its duties effectively. The modifications to the VH-92A showcase the outstanding capabilities of the S-92. This helicopter is designed for a variety of missions, ranging from offshore energy transportation and search and rescue operations to head of state missions. The S-92 is indeed recognized as a dependable helicopter model, boasting a strong track record in performance and technology, along with new features that enhance safety and reliability. Before we dive deeper into the capabilities of the VH-92A, let's take a look at the strengths of the S-92 and its variants. The S-92 helicopter has been in operation in 28 countries and has amassed over 2.2 million flight hours. Capable of performing in various extreme conditions, the S-92 demonstrates exceptional abilities in bad weather and boasts excellent handling qualities. Furthermore, there's the S-92A+, a testament to technological advancement. With its GECT-78A6 engines, it can fly farther and with more power. Accommodating up to 19 passengers, this helicopter offers a smooth and quiet ride, featuring ample cabin height, top-notch emergency exits, and the widest baggage compartments in its class. The S-92 is also highly reliable in search and rescue missions. With an operational range of over 200 nautical miles using standard fuel, its spacious cabin supports the transport of various rescue equipment for emergency situations. Coupled with advanced navigation and location sensors, the S-92 significantly reduces search times and enhances mission effectiveness. With all these advantages, it's no wonder Sikorsky has high hopes for the VH-92A in the future of high-ranking official transportation. The VH-92A is a new hope emerging amid the hustle and bustle of the presidential aviation world. This helicopter is designed to replace two legendary aircraft that have faithfully served the President of the United States.
the VH3D Sea King and the VH60N Whitehawk. Everyone anticipates something more impressive compared to its predecessors. In terms of performance, the VH92A truly stands out. Its advanced coordination systems, superior communication capabilities, and larger payload capacity make it an ideal choice for escorting the President. Moreover, this helicopter is engineered to enhance maintenance efficiency and reliability. With these features, operational costs are expected to decrease, positively impacting the budget allocated for its use. With its advanced mission capabilities, the VH-92A is expected to elevate the standards of presidential transportation. This helicopter will not only serve administrative transport, but also be on standby for emergency operations. Imagine, the VH-92A is ready to serve at any time, whether for scheduled trips or urgent situations. It symbolizes safety and punctuality, which are top priorities for the President and their team. Interestingly, the VH-92A is also designed to be airlifted to remote locations using a C-17 cargo aircraft. This opens new possibilities for presidential mobility, ensuring that even in the most isolated areas, security and efficiency are maintained. The United States is confident that the contract to create this twin-engine helicopter will be successful. The VH-92A is equipped with a comfortable interior, advanced military mission support systems, and impressive safety features such as triple electric power and redundant flight controls. All of this is designed to protect the nation's leader during every flight. Amid high hopes for the arrival of the VH-92A, surprising news emerged from the U.S. Department of Defense. It turned out that this helicopter failed to meet the expected standards for reliability, availability, and maintenance. While it proved effective for administrative missions, the VH-92A was found to be unreliable in emergency situations. Concerns about its performance began to grow. Reports indicated that the helicopter experienced instability and had defects in its cabin interior. Additionally, frequent maintenance inspections and issues with the rear step components contributed to its low availability. So, what do you think? Is the integration of technology from the S-92 and VH-92A impressive enough? Or, the lack of reliability is worrying for the future? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.